Well today we're looking at uh, another board game and this time it's a board game based on A Game of Thrones or George R. R. Martin's A Game of Thrones The Board Game 2nd Edition. Quite a mouthful. So this one is for 3 to 6 players um, ages 14 to adult. Uh, I think it's 3 to 6 because it from the, the sort of right, right up on the back I think it's going to be sort of a risk style game. So I suppose three people is better than two. And it was created by Christian T. Peterson. So on the side we've got uh, Aragorn. Except he's not from this franchise, so I don't know who that is. Uh, this is based on the books, of course. That's Cersei. Cersei. Uh, that's presumably going to be Jon Snow. He's not read the rules, so he knows nothing. Um, is that, I don't know who that is, interesting, um, so let's have a look at the back, upside down, of course it is, so we've got claim the Iron Throne and the lands of Westeros, don't want them, King Robert Baratheon is dead and the kingdom of Westeros braces for impending war, House Lannister whose daughter Cersei was Robert's queen, claims the throne for a young son Joffrey. So that's sort of the era we're in. What's that? That's season three to four on the TV show. Um, so this is a game based on the best-selling novel series. Um, this updated second edition of the best-selling board game brings a host of enhancements. So uh, edition one was a basic game and then they brought out a load of uh, sort of add-on uh, bits and bobs. So this is version 2 which includes all the add-on bits and bobs, so which includes garrisons, wildling cards, siege engines, uh, convenient player screens. Um, so it says fantasy fight supply, protective card sleeves. Do you get them in it? I don't know, I don't think so. Contents, a rule book, game board, 138 plastic units. Let's see, we'll have a look at them. Uh, just an absolute slew of uh, I'm presuming cardboard counters and a big old board of Westeros. Okay, should we uh, get the stuff out and we'll have a look? Okay, so we get a game board that's still sealed, but we'll pop that open and have a look in a minute. Pop it on the floor. More sealed stuff. So this is all the counters. So let's just move the camera. So you've got a burning torch, a crown, uh, a gauntlet, a helmet. I presume it's fighting, and then they repeat it. So you get loads of them. Uh, three sheets. So we'll have a look at the middle one. There's the throne, the iron throne, looking a little bit different. Uh, there's a very faded uh, crow. Could be the three-eyed raven. Faded sword. My bet is you turn them over and they'll be printed properly. The sigil. So you got. Oh my god, this is going to bring back things. So the rose. That's the. That's the uh, not the martels because that's the the other thing. It's um. The flower knight was one of them. Why well, can't I think of the name? But I'll read about it. Uh, Squidly Diddly. So that's the. Uh, the Ironborn people, and you got the Lannister Lion. Uh, I don't know that one is a sun with a shield. Is that the Sun Spear? Uh, you got the Direwolves for House Stark. You got the Stags of House Baratheon. All right, some uh, locations. So we got three the three towers. That's better than two towers, isn't it? Uh, Starfall, Ironwood. Uh, Salt Shore, Sun Spear, Old Town, Storm's End. Lots of different places. King's Landing, the Eerie. Oh, some other sigils. Some sigilly bits on castle. So you get quite a bit. Let's uh, look what the third card sheet is. So I'll just open this. Ooh, get the scissors out. I probably should have uh, opened this up before we uh, started filming. Then I wouldn't be... I've got some thrilling footage of listening to me open some plastic. Uh, so, 
my bet then is on the back of this, I reckon it's going to be fully printed. Yay! So it's obviously like on and off, I suppose. Um, ah, so that, oh dear. Have to be very careful touching them because bits fall out. Oh god. I might have to uh, actually punch them out because they're not going to last five minutes. Right, uh, so the other counters. It's got loads of these. Reminds me of the old um, Games Workshop games you used to get. Same on the other side there. So, let's pop them down there. What else do we get? A bag of quick reference cards. Let's have a look. So, they're both the same. So, it's uh, basically quick reference to tell you what the round steps are. Um, the combat sequence. One, call for support. Two, run away. Uh, different tactics. Uh, Westros card references. Winter is coming. Shuffle this Westros deck, including this card, and draw another card. Oh, so I see. It uh, puts a bit of chance in the way. So we get a instruction book, which we'll have a look at in a second. Uh, an empty bag. Okay, let's put your hopes in. Uh, a catalogue of different games from Fantasy Flight Games. Uh, you get well, I'm presuming these are the um, house shields, so you can you can hide your uh, the hands you've got, and then it's got bits. So this is House Baratheon. Well, let's see. I thought Tyrell, isn't it? Or Tyrell, that was the one. Martell is the Sun Spear, isn't it? House Greyjoy, House Stark. Uh, so they're interesting. We've got different things for the different houses on there. It's pretty lavish, this. Um, you get a deck of cards. I presume, because it said there's five or six different decks. Ah, here we go. Uh, let me say they, they've been a bit mixed up. That's obviously your main deck. your house cards okay so you've got different houses so that's Mr Patchface don't remember him uh, Queen of Thorns Cersei she's changed a bit Doran Martell don't know Blackfish he's looking a bit younger I'm not even going to try and say that name uh, Marjorie, Kevin Lannister, Damp Hair, Ariane Martel. So let's see if we've got oh, Melisandre, Tyrion, on a horse, Brienne. I quite like this, uh, the look they can Sir Jamie. Balon Greyjoy, Roos Bolton, Sir Davos, he looks a bit different, The Hound, ah that's who it was with the burnt face, I should know, shouldn't I, different side to the TV one, uh, Theon, Rob Stark, King of the North, Renly Baratheon, looks a bit like uh, Boromir, Sir Loras, Sir Gregor Clegane, The Mountain, Eddard. Oh, so that was uh, Eddard Stark. That looked like Aragorn. Stannis. Mace. Red Viper. Tywin. Or Catelyn, so uh, looking a bit different. I don't think uh, Ned would have left the, the north if uh, that would have been his Catelyn. Um, so these are, like I suppose, different actions. So Euron's Crow Eye. Oh, that's one of them. Supply, adjust supply, so these are like, I suppose, um, the action cards, winter is coming. Last days of summer, the Game of Thrones. And then, oh that was the ones I look at, these ones. So these are Wildling Victory, 
World Ring Victory. Oh, these are the World Ring cards. So these were an add-on. Um, I suppose different different uh, things to do. So that's interesting. We've got little cards here. They, these must be like uh, score cards or something. Because they've got different things going on. Seems like a very complicated game, but I'm sure it's good fun. Um, I'm hoping that the, uh, the rest of the pieces are under this. Oh, it's got a lift up bit, so yeah. Oh, God. So here you get four bags of pieces. So you've got that. I see this. So we've got people. So it's a little head and shoulders shape. We've got horses, little horsey head shape. We've got it is meant to be a siege engine, looks a bit like a pram. Or a shopping trolley. Um, and then houses. So loads of plastic bits. Uh, so yes, yeah, so that's it. Let's have a look at the uh, instructions and then we'll have a look at the board. What do I do with the instructions? I'll put them somewhere. So, what can I go for them for? This worries me when you get a full instruction book. So you get all your bits. So it tells you what each bit does. Player screens, order tokens, influence tokens, supply tokens. Is that pulsing? Is that like pulsing? Ooh, so look at that board. So it shows you how to lay out your board and how to play. Different phases, Westeros phase. Uh, if the game marker is on a tenth space at the start of the Westeros phase, it's not possible with bugs. Yeah. Supply, so you've got to supply your armies. So it seems like, yeah, a bit, a bit like Risk Plus. So as you risk, everything is set. So it's quite easy to pick up. So I think this could be fun. I'm going to have to really study this map. So really nice illustrations. Do you enjoy in uh, House of the Dragon if you're still watching it? If you're watching this while it's still on. Uh, it seems to be very good. Quite rushed, but really enjoying it. So yeah, very good. Oh, there's an index for the instructions. That's always a really good point. Let's uh, get the board out. So the board is massive by the look of it. It's like six bits. I'm gonna have to lay this out and I want to go look at it. It's huge. Okay so it is massive. It's got to be three feet by two foot. So you've got Westeros. So you've got Castle Black at the top, and the wall phew, straight across. Uh, car hold where the car Starks live. Winterfell, Starks, Stony Shore. Not sure who lives there. White Harbour, Widow's Watch, Moat Kaelin. Oh, I love it when you see maps with places on. I wish I'd have to follow the TV series on this. Lannisport, River Run. And then what's right down here? So that's. Uh, can't be Dawn. Dawn is not part of it, is it? Don't know where the narrow sea is. But yeah, that's a that's a massive board, and then you've got different places for all the counters, different phases. So yeah, I'm gonna, uh, gonna have to study this in a bit of detail. But I'm uh, thoroughly uh, impressed with this massive, massive board, huge amount of counters, very high quality. The cardboard for the counters is good, and this board is solid. So yeah, well well done. The, the makers of this game um, I'm going to look forward to playing this but uh, if you want to see more games I've got an absolute stack of vintage and modern board games there's a few in my playlist but thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you can um, we've got a Patreon now if you want to help out the channel pop along there but otherwise I'll see you again next time so from me and Westeros bye <laughs>